assalamu alaikum student today we are going to draw a line segment by using a ruler and a divider this is a ruler and this is a divider firstly we must know about it okay, what is a ruler now see it is called or it is also called scale it is very essential tool in our geometry box which is used in almost all constructions it has small dvn from 0 to 1, 1 to 2, I mean these all small dvns are of centimeter while on the other edge it has these all small dvn in inches but here we are going to draw the line segment with the help of centimeter so firstly we are going to focus on from 0 to 1 centimeter how many small dvns are there you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 small dvns are there. And each small dvn, this one small dvn is equal to 1 millimeter. So 10 small dvn mean that is 10 millimeter. From, so 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. Fine. Now we are going to focus on what is a divider. It is similar to a compass with, but it has a pair of pointer ends it has two pointer ends the first one and this is the second one it is used to measure or compare the length of line segment okay now the question arises okay why do we need a divider to compare the length of line segment when we can use the ruler for this purpose so what is the reason? What is the reason of this question? Okay, ruler, because ruler does not measure accurate reading. It does not measure the exact reading due to the positioning error. Okay. But we have to use divider to measure the accurate reading. So now today we are going to focus on the first example. The first example is draw a line segment of 8 cm with the help of ruler and with the help of divider. Fine. For this purpose we need a pencil, a ruler and a divider. Okay. What is the first step? You need to draw a straight line. Okay. Simple. Without any measurement you need to draw a straight line. This is a straight line and I have given the name on the first end I have written A and this is B. Okay. Now we have to use the divider. Now they said okay, draw a line segment of 8 cm. Now we have to open the divider, the two ends of divider and we have to measure the 8 cm. Now see if one end I have to keep on 0. And the second end we have to keep on 8. This is 8 centimeter. Fine. Now I have to keep it, keep the both ends on a line segment. Like I kept it over here. Now see. After keeping these both ends, I just have to mark these two points. This is the first point. This is the second point. Now I have to give the name. This is P, this is Q. P, Q is equal to is the required line segment which is of 8 cm. Now I am going to measure it with this ruler. Now you can see first end I kept on 0 and the second end is on 8 cm. So this is the required line segment of 8 cm. Okay. Now we are going to focus on the second example. I am going to draw the line segment of 11 cm. Okay. Again the first step is you need to draw the line segment. This is a line. This You need to draw a simple line. I have drawn a line. Okay. I have given the name now XY. After giving the name I have to open the two ends of divider because I need to draw the line segment of 11 cm. I kept one end of the divider on 0 and the second end on 11. Okay, this is 11. And now we have to 
kept these both end over here. Now we have to mark these two points. This is the first and this is the second. Now I have given the name that is S T that is the required line segment of 11 cm. Now I am going to check is it 11 or not. Now see 0 I start with the 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. The second end is on 11. So this is the required line segment by using a ruler and a divider. I hope you people have got the idea about how to draw the line segment by using a ruler and divider. Thank you.